Hello doctor, now that you have completed your profile and also created your first simple prescription, we are ready to look at some other advanced features of Healant MD. We will do this by creating this time a more detailed consultation record and prescription. Rena was the patient that we consulted during our first consultation. She is visiting us again today along with her investigation reports and we want to make a new consultation to her. We begin by entering her name and as we start typing, Rena's record comes up and we must tap to select it. Having done that, we tap on this button that says consultations and we come to the consultation screen. This screen, which I am using on a phone device, has all the six boxes, complaints and symptoms, medical history, clinical findings and others listed in a sequence. And you will have to scroll a little to go to all the other boxes. You can, however, pick any box that you need to fill in in the order that you desire. The only mandatory box that I had mentioned last time was the complaints and symptoms box. So that is the first box that I must click. You will see that the main complaint has a black triangle indicated here on the right hand corner. And this indicates that there is some data in this already, which is from our last consultation. If I tap this, we see dysmenorrhea mentioned here. We tap to select it and the history of present illness that we had recorded in our last consultation is already appearing here. We can add to this or continue. We can also add additional symptoms that you want or there's a list of some standard health symptoms that you may want to make note of and you can select from any of these. For now, we will just tap on this right uh, icon on the right hand top and we will confirm this data. The next important segment is the medical history. This is one of the most comprehensive pieces along with clinical findings that Healant MD has. Let's click on medical history. Medical history has various sections, past history, personal, family, and because this is a 20 year old female, we also have gynae, obstetrics, and infertility. In this case, we don't have anything specific that we want to record on the past history, and we directly want to go to her gynae records. In the gynae records, you will see that there are various sections again, and the one that is relevant to us currently is the menstrual history. We click here, and we are able to now write various details here, which are pre-populated with data, and we just have to make a record uh, of uh, this specific patient's details. So we say the last menstrual period. And if this was yesterday, then we say, or, or 30th, then we say 30th of July, we accept that. Menstrual cycle, we say regular. Past cycle duration, let's say it was three oblique 32. Current cycle duration, I can write three oblique 32 or I can write like same. Pattern is normal. Amount is normal. Menarche age was 12 years. You see, all the details that you typically want to capture in medical history are already given here, which makes it simple for you to make a record of the conversation that you are having with the patient and sometimes also acts as a reminder. We can also go down and we will see that there are other sections. In this particular case, the most relevant section is the pain history. In the pain history, we will see the timing is dysmenorrhea. The duration, in this case, the pain duration is one day. Type, we say, is continuous. Are there elevating factors? We say, uh, yes hot liquids or in addition to that painkillers. Are there 
aggravating factors we don't know any radiation we can say uh, to back while passing stool are there any associated symptoms and we say that there are bowel problems there is so much else that is given here practically everything that you can think of in a gynae medical history that you can record here but for our need this is what we need right now you will see an include button with each of these this is very important to understand anything that you make a record of if you tap on include then this will get recorded and printed on the patient's prescription if we don't include this stays as a record in the patient's medical records but it doesn't get printed on the prescription for our case we will select these and we will again tap this tick mark at the right hand top to confirm that this is what we wanted to write and you will see that this field now gets filled up if i tap on this star like icon at the right hand top you can see this in more detail the next important section is the clinical findings you will see all systems practically in human body listed here because again this is a 20 year old lady we have gynecology and obstetrics if it was male then these two buttons wouldn't appear here if it was a child then you would have a head to toe examination similarly in case of medical history if you are treating a child you will have growth and development records uh, section coming in let's begin by writing the vitals in the vital we just want to write the blood pressure and we say the blood pressure in this case is 110 by 80 that's all that i want to write here you will see that we have here these bars and if i tap on these bars there are various things that we can see and right now it just shows that you have this the bp record is here if i go to general under general again i tap these bars and i am able to make record of various important pieces of information so the weight of the patient is let's say 61 kgs and height of the patient is 153 cm which indicates a bmi of 26.1 do we want to include it we say okay and we again tap this tick at the right hand side the next thing that we want to make a record of is our gynae section in the gynae section if everything that we have examined is perfect we can just take this standard statement and we can say include and this will get printed on the prescription however if we have a finding then we tap on this red arrow here which takes us to further details if we tap here we have the ability to write details on various different types of clinical examinations that you do in gynecology i also have the ability to make short notes let's begin by writing some short notes by tapping this pen icon that i have at the top so i tap this and i want to write a simple note that says abdomen soft i confirm this and the other pieces of information that i might want to write is let me go to abdominal examination and i only say uh, let's say in this case i want to say any suprapubic mass is absent if i want to add that there is any distension i could have said a present or i could have said an absent please note that each of these has a pen icon next to it and i can make my notes for each one of the 
findings that I make. I can also make a, I can also do an examination and if there is nothing abnormal detected, I just tap this nothing abnormal detected. I again tap on this tick mark at the right hand top to confirm all of this. If there was something that I needed to click a picture of, I could have tapped on this camera icon and this would have allowed me to take either a picture or it would have allowed me to take a document which was in my files and make it as part of uh, my overall prescription. I now tap this tick mark to confirm what I have written here and if I tap again this star here, we'll see that all the things that I made a record of are here. My diagnosis is simple, it is dysmenorrhea. I come to investigations now. Last time we asked her to get an ultrasound done. Now this time we want, want to get her a blood examination done. So we write CBC. You see complete blood count pops up here and we select it. Please note this central circular icon at the top bar towards the right. This is the list of our frequently used investigations. If I tap this, I will get the list of investigations that I have done in the recent past or I have set in my settings and I can pick any one of them that I want to. I confirm this. Incidentally, if I wanted to make any special notes, I could have done that here. I confirm this for now and I come to treatment. Last time also we had recommended her to take Meftalspas SOS and we can continue to do the same. Please note that in the case of medicines also, we have a record of what we have prescribed in the past and if we want to pull from that, we can simply tap this round icon and it gives us all the list of tablets that we have described in the past. Instead of writing afresh, I can just pick from here and I can say OK. And you see tablet Beftal Spas SOS appears here. If I wanted to make any changes, I will tap this pen icon. I can change the frequency. I could have changed some other instructions. But for now, this is what I want to do. I have other sections in my treatment, which is if I did any procedure or if there are immunizations. But in my case, I don't want to do this. The only thing that we want to do is to again go and make some advice. So we tap on this icon here. In case of advice also, we again tap, I could have written some new advice, but I tap this round icon here that you see in the middle. And this gives us the standard set of advice, which either come with the system or I can create for myself. So I go to general care and I say, again, eat some fruits, take plenty of liquids. And we could also then say that use your healing application to manage your weight. And that's it. So we confirm all this. I could have added a follow-up, but I don't need to do that. I could have referred the patient to another doctor. I don't need to do that. In another next video, we will show that when a patient brings her investigation report, how can we see this online from Healand and make this a part of our record and the patient's record. Having done all of this, I am ready to conf confirm this prescription. I tap on this tick mark at the right hand top and once I do that, I get a view of the prescription that I have created which as you can see is pretty detailed. I can prescribe or I can prescribe and print. In this case, I will just prescribe. But remember, even if you want to print it, you have the option of whether you want to print it on a plain paper, in which case Healant MD generates your letterhead based on your clinic name and address. But if you want to use your pre-printed stationery, you can go into the settings and make that option so that you can start printing on your pre-printed stationery. For now, we will just do prescribe. And as I do that, this prescription gets generated 
and this prescription would have gone into the patient's healing tab and let's see what it does to our records. We see here that we have again made a consultation to Rena today and the actual prescription I can see if I tap on this document icon here. I open it with a PDF reader and here is my prescription. If I wanted to make any records that I did not want to print, these records will always be available to me, though not printed on the prescription. And to view any of those details, I will tap on this icon which is next to this document icon, which is here. So this data comes directly from the system, not from the document generated, and is reflective of everything that you recorded. Well, with this, you are pretty much done. And there are various things that you can explore once you start using the application. You would want to explore the various systems within clinical findings. You will want to explore all the different sections of medical history and you will find it an enriching experience. Thank you very much.